Hello traders, John at StockBookie.com. Today we're looking at the SPY, the IWM, the Qs, the DIA, the IYT, the USO, the UUP, and the GLD. We follow the daily, weekly, monthly timeframes. We use technical analysis here at StockBookie.com. So guys, what a week on Wall Street, just straight up five days, man. So everybody who went short here is just getting ramped right now. And you know, you know they're switching it and going long, so just be careful. If you are long in these markets, I have another area at 227.13 penciled in. Let's see if we get there next week, which we'll probably go to 230 to be honest with you at this point. Why not? Light volume still prevailing, 89 or 87 million in, on the day on the SPY, so nothing great. You know what? Let them keep pushing it up, and as it goes up, I'm going to keep adding shorts across the board. So. Um, missed the rally, you know. I, I just couldn't buy here on the on the Trump rally. Seriously, this is just this. It's getting crazy, guys. But but anyways, you know what? Just uh, one day at a time. Let's see what we have. Uh, weekly chart again, two twenty seven thirteen. Again, I'd like to see more consolidation before another massive move up. But he just didn't get it. Just keeps rolling, guys. On the on the Trump rally. So the IWM now we had around one thirty six as an area, and boom, right through there. Let's go to the daily chart. Again, this was one best bang for the buck because this one was lagging for a while and all of a sudden it just takes off out of the blue and Trump's fixing everything, guys. So, But we had a little doji here on the day on the daily. I don't know if that means anything at this point. We are on a little bit of light volume. Yesterday wasn't bad. We had a little bit little bit of conviction, but today we only had uh, $34 million on the uh, on the IWM. Not too much. Again, we had a doji here too and it reversed. Let's see if this doji reverses and goes down, but at this point... With the holiday month, you know, we've been talking about that light volume. It can still go up, but I'd still like to see more consolidation before the next move up. I'm going to look at some uh, numerical numbers, mathematical. Right now, we're just up in a no man's land. Let's see if we can uh, find another area up here. I'm thinking 140 possibly, but and if you you know if you started adding shorts up here around 130, 132, 133, you know, just stay strong, guys. You know, when this thing pulls back, if if and when it does, you know, we'll come back down to the 120s. Maybe even uh, fill this gap down here around 115. You do have a trend line coming. Well, and yeah, nothing. I'll have to do more work on the weekend, see where we're at, guys. So, but right now, hey, if you're long, tighten up these stops and keep riding it up. And, you know, with a trailing stop, just don't get caught in this when this thing goes down because everyone just sits there with their mouth open. Oh my gosh, this thing just keeps going. Remember, dries, guys. When everyone was, you know, just, oh, you bears are getting killed, da 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 da. Two days later, it's a $4 stock. So, not that this is going to come down like that. But just be aware of what can happen, guys. Uh, let's see. The Q's, the Q's still trying for that all-time high. Did it make an all-time high today? I think it just missed it. 66, 54, yeah, just missed it. But again, you know, this was the one that was a little bit lagging. We did hit this high pivot here. We did not make a new all-time high. So let's see what happens next week. I'm thinking we will, maybe 120, 121, 122. But who knows? We'll keep an eye on this next week, like I said. Yellen's meeting, so it will probably have light volume Monday, Tuesday, maybe just some pause days because, you know, after, after runs like this, you need a pause. It, it, I mean, honestly, I guess it could keep going up, but if it's going to keep going up, the do next down move is going to be even worse, in my opinion. Seen these markets before, guys. Um, again, weekly chart, we're still inside this bar, so in, and consolidating, we are uh, bullish, but we are slightly bearish as well because we're inside this bar, um, floating up. Volume's not the best, not the worst, but you got to keep an eye on this. Let's see if we crack the all-time high and confirm, and then maybe more upside. Let's go into the DIA. DIA up again, just ripping, guys, just ripping. So we are above this trend line here. Uh, let's go to the daily. So the daily chart, again, you know, we had okay bull, uh, bullish consolidation here, pop, kind of float, 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 and then out of the blue, straight back up with some volume on the DIA. So, you know, something's going on here, but... You have the Goldman Sachs leading the way. You got the J.P. Morgan. You got uh, Apple starting to go. You got the oil, the Exxon Mobiles, and stuff like that. So, just be aware of these markets. And and like I said, it, it, they can't go up forever. Maybe we are going to 200 even number. That sometime is like a magnet or to 20,000 on the Dow. Let's see if we make that next week, and uh, it will be an interesting week with the Allen. Uh, again, weekly chart, we are above this uh, trend line, and we confirmed today, so we can honestly go up. If you look, look at the monthly, though, you know, and you look at this trend line on the monthly, let's see by the end of the month if we close up here and confirm, and then maybe, you know, maybe down, you know, 20,000, maybe a little higher, but at this point, I don't know, honestly. 
you know i mean you're, you're in the no man's land here so we are short other stocks and as stuff's coming in we're just taking it off the table saying thank you very much and moving on to the next one at this point we got to take all the profits we can at this point i'm scalping every day stocks making money that way so so even though i'm upside down on a lot of these stocks especially the indexes you know when these come in it'll be all right i have time i'm not in any puts so at this point, it really doesn't matter to me, at, at least. <laughs> so I've been telling everybody with the puts, just be careful with that. So on the um, IYT, we are in the double top here. We did have a little doji on the daily, double top. Um, I'll go back on the weekly, but double top is this line here. We went up through it. We retraced. We went way up in the last, um, you know, on this day today, and we came back in. It was 21 cents down. We have a little doji, but we had dojis here. So at this point, we had pretty good volume, you know, cutting through this thing. So let's keep an eye on this one. Weekly chart, you know, not nothing to really worry about. We are into the all-time high on the weekly. Let's see if we get above the 171, 172 area next week and continue going up. Or do we get a reversal, come back down, and then, you know, but right now there's really no pattern other than an up move. Uh, MACD, you have negative divergence on all these indexes, so you got to be aware of that as well. Uh, USO. USO, again, uh, we have 13 cents up today. No great shakes. You know, they're trying to get this one up, the oil rally. The UUP, I believe, was up as well. So now it's um, oil up, uh, dollar up, and gold down still. So gold's intact with the dollar still. We did add a little bit more on our GLD position. But again, USO went up. We had a nice pullback. We're retracing up right back to this trend line. Let's see how this thing reacts next week. We might possibly float up. But again, Wednesday, Janet Yellen, <laughs> these things are probably going to go up and down, sideways, whichever way they have to go. But man, what a rally, guys. I, I, I've seen this stuff before where... We have areas on the charts and it just goes and goes and goes and it's usually in light volume markets like this so you, you just got to be careful so on the weekly we are right on that trend line so let, let's see what happens uh, next week if we come back down we had a nice move up we had a nice little pullback i am in the short the uso and long the sco so we're a little bit underwater on the sco now but man we were we were actually green the other day but right back down so only a couple bucks so no big you know no great shakes we might go up into this $12 area, so and we might even go up to the $12.50 area. Then I'll have to keep an eye on the SCO. But this trade, the USO, I'm going to stay short. A couple head and shoulder patterns to look for. So uh, they haven't triggered, but uh, if this thing comes down, I mean, if it gets past this head, then it doesn't trigger. If it gets definitely gets past this one, then the bigger pattern doesn't trigger as well. So we'll keep an eye on that as well. Uh, UUP, UUP, you know, had a pretty good day today. You know, we talked about the um, getting stretched. So we got, you know, we went up, we had a pullback, went up again, we had a slight pullback. Here we go again. We try to attack the double top over here. A little bit of a topping tail, a little bit of a doji candle. Let's see if we go higher. Uh, let's go to the weekly chart. Weekly chart, we still have some areas up here, you know, around the uh, 2683, 2721. And then uh, 2650 or so. We're not there yet, but it is consolidating in a bear or a bullish manner here on the weekly as well. So if this keeps going sideways on the weekly, another week or two, maybe three, four, maybe in January, this one should start taking off. If not, then this pattern fails. It will go straight down. Not straight down, but it will, you know, a failed pattern usually will lead to some more downside and, and it will be quick and fast. So, but we're watching these areas. We're seeing if we get above this. So far, so good on a dollar. Nothing wrong with the dollar. And then the GLD trade, like I said, we did add more down here today. And, you know, so far so good on this one. We're slowly adding 115, 112, 110, you know, slowly. You know, this is a bearish pattern. But, you know, I, I just added a little bit more here. You know, I, I again, if you're going to do 1,000 shares here, I have 100 here, 100 there, 100 here, and I still have 800 more to go. And if I miss it and it starts moving up, I'll have a couple hundred shares. Not that I'm going to do a thousand. I, I, you know, I know what I need to do. But I'm saying if you're doing a thousand, you know, a thousand here, a thousand there, a thousand here. You have 300. If it starts to move up 10 bucks, you get a $3,000 trade and you get the hell out. If it continues down, then you're still slow and steady, guys, just like X. You know, uh, U.S. Steel, I added, 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 got to a 5% position. I added a little bit more yesterday. My cost average, I'm a little bit out of the money now. If that thing comes in, great. We also scalped that one, too. I'm about a buck on the money on that one. And hopefully I can get a buck or two uh, more on my scalp trade or my short-term trade, get out of that one. And with that trade, I'll be even on my X, but not, not to get off the uh, subject or anything. I'm almost done here, though. So, But, yeah, gold, you know what? Just uh, let it keep going.
you know, why not? You know, if you haven't taken any of the gold position yet, you know, start, you know, maybe this first line here around 109, maybe start there. But, uh, or this blue line here right around uh, the 107.91. So anywhere, you know, we got one, two, three, four, we got five weeks down, guys. So let's see if we could get another maybe week or two down, maybe into this gap fill around 105. And gosh, who knows, maybe 101.49. That's what I'm really waiting for. Because if I cost average right now is right around uh, 1250 or so, 1240, I, I don't. I don't have it in front of me, guys. I don't have that uh, that uh, platform open right now. So, but uh, if I add here and add there, my cost average would probably be around 108. And you know, you, you know, this one's going to rip up eventually. And gold, you know what? Even long term's not not a bad buy. If it goes lower, I'll put a little bit more, and it will turn into a long long term trade. But anyways, guys, what a week on Wall Street. Things just start ripping up and just keeps going. It's on light volume. I mean, you, you got to, you know. Tip your hat off to Yellen and, and the central bankers. They're really getting this thing going. The hedge funds, again, these guys were all negative on the year. All you heard was six months ago how bad the hedge funds are doing. The institutional money's not doing great. These guys are getting killed. So what do you think they're doing here? You know, if you look at the um, the SPY, I mean, this thing's going. But the other one, the IWM, was always lagging. But they got that one up to the highs. You know, why not? Might as well get that one ripping, too. And then also the um, IYT was the other one. You know, this thing goes from, you know, 115 to almost 140 in, uh, you know, one, two, three, four, five weeks. Man, you know, you just see this stuff. It's almost like Goldman Sachs. But, you know, you go up, 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 then you get the pullback. You go up, 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 you get the pullback. And every time, you know, let's stick a line here. I didn't look at this one. Hmm. Look at, oh, wow, look at that, guys. That's interesting. Huh. All right, anyways, that's where we're at. I'm still thinking 140 up here, guys. So, all right, again, got thanks for uh, watching my videos. When I'm doing live streams. I'm looking to do something on Sunday mornings, possibly. Maybe Saturday mornings, we'll have to see. And uh, we'll take it from there. Again, everybody, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for su subscribing to me on uh, YouTube. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on uh, StockTwits. Hopefully, you're doing some of my trades. Hopefully, you're making some money. Again, no puts right now. If you want to write some calls, that's fine. Don't load the boat. No more than 10% of uh, position. No more than 10% of a total um, of your total portfolio in one position. So if you have a hundred thousand dollar position or a hundred thousand dollar account, you only could go ten thousand. Right now, do five thousand and leave that five thousand just in case. I started, you know, a long, long time ago with 30k. I had small positions. Worked my way up. Here we are, you know, eight years later. And, you know, like everybody else, you know, you got to work your way up, guys. It doesn't, it's not overnight. You don't, you're not going to get rich overnight. It's more of a marathon, not a sprint. Again, thanks for watching my videos. Have a great weekend, everybody. God bless. See you on the charts.